Hi, Nicholas Kalapalaitis, partner Common Greg Lawyers. Today I'm going to talk to you about security of payments, or as we all know it in the industry so far. Is it still the holy grail or has it become Pandora's box? Let's look at that. Over the time that I've been working with security of payments over many years, uh, it started as an act, and let's keep in mind it is an act for payment recovery, where a lot of applications were getting paid out to an act where parties who get it wrong are not getting paid, which leads to losses for your business. As an expert in the building and construction industry, I see many of these issues arise both in courts and both in the adjudication process. And as that expert, I often deal with parties on both sides of the fence, fighting applications, but also helping clients to lodge those applications, but also taking those disputes to the Supreme Court. What I've seen though fundamentally is this shift, as I've said, in relation to the application of SOPA. So in order to get it right, in order to deal with the court process, in order to deal with SOPA, it's important you speak to an expert like myself. One of the ways you can help yourself in dealing with SOPA and its intricacies are as follows. Get your invoice right, get the company name right, get the ACN right. Make sure they reflect what's on the contract. Make sure you've issued or you've attached supporting statements to your invoices where you need to, where you have subcontractors working for you. Make sure you've issued your invoices in accordance with the reference date as stated in the contract or otherwise in accordance with SOPA. There are many ways I can also help you, so feel free to give me a call and I can take you through what is still quite a tricky Security of Payments Act.